Today on Art Is, we're learning about proportions of the body. With Dr. Terry Allen. Today's class was at Malaga Elementary School in Malaga. Art Is was made possible by a grant from the Bonner Family Foundation in support of the arts and education. For this lesson on proportions of the body, you will need these materials. 6 inch by 18 inch strips of white construction paper, 2 inch by 3 inch paper rectangles, 12 inch by 18 inch sheets of colored construction paper, scissors, glue, a spool of string or yarn, several 1 inch strips of a variety of colors of construction paper, and additional scraps of construction paper to help decorate the figures. Good afternoon, boys and girls. We're going to have some fun this afternoon drawing people, drawing our bodies. And we'd like to, I'd like to start with having you take a look at a, a work of art by a man named Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer is a very famous American artist, and he drew lots of pictures of people doing different things at the time when he lived. And so what I'd like to have you do is to tell me what you see in this picture. What's going on here? Lila? Um, I... You see kids crawling around on the grass. You see kids crawling around on the grass. Good. Camry. Um, there's a bunch of boys like um, playing around the schoolyard. When might this be? What do you think, Andrew? Day. It's daytime for sure because we can, we got the, it's light outside. And let's see, Maria. Summer. Summertime. Okay. Why do you think summertime? Because the uh, uh, sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright, and there's some more clues. Okay, Jose, what do you think? Um, the flowers are blooming. The flowers are blooming. That's another good clue. Lila? Um, it might be spring because the flowers are out. Okay, it could be spring or summer, couldn't it? Yeah. Now, let's take a look. What, what is this boy doing right here? What do you think? Raise your hand if you think you know. Okay, let's go with Ivan over here. Ready? He's running. What, now this is for everybody, what, how do you know that he's running here? Camry? Um, his legs are open and on. One of them is behind and one of them is in front. And what's happening to this person over here? He, he snapped the whip. He's, he's falling down, isn't he? So he's at the end of the whip. He got snapped off the whip. And now what's happening to him? He has to run through. He has to run through. OK. And what else? He's out. He's out, and he is... And he keeps him falling down? He's falling down. So by, by the way the artist put him in the picture, with his knees bent and his arms out, makes it look like he's falling down. So artists use these kinds of things here to get you to think that there's movement in a picture. We know he's running because of the way his legs are separated like that. This guy back here, he looks like he's pulling away, doesn't he? Notice how his weight is on his back leg over here. And another one is falling down. So artists use diagonal lines, those diagonal lines and separated legs and so on, to make it look like someone is moving. Everybody stand for just a minute. Stand up, please, very carefully. Push your chairs in. And guess what? We are all alike in a particular way, and that's the proportion of our body. So how are we going to do that? Now, with the number ones, please take the string, hold it so that it stretches all the way to the floor, and then go to person number two at your uh, table and measure from the floor to the top of that person's head. And at the top of the head where that string is, pinch it with your finger. Hold it with your finger. OK? Now make, all, make sure you go all the way to the top of the head. It looks like we got a good one over here. Is that on the floor? Yes, good job. Okay, now, number three. I want you to, now, number one, hold that string really tight. And number two, I want you to hold your arms out like this. Raise your arms up a little bit more, Jasmine. There you go. Okay, and you have your measurement from there to there, right? Okay, what are we finding? What did you discover? It's just about what? The same. The same, isn't it? So we are across, across from fingertip to fingertip, on top of our head to our feet, we are just about the same, aren't we? 
and now there's a smaller string. Now, we're going to put the string at the top of the head and bring the string down to the bottom of your, to your shoulder like this and hold the string where that measurement is. And look at how long that is. I've got my, I'm going to pinch my finger. That's how long my head is. How many of these are as long, make up our torso? We're going to measure from here down to here and then down to where our hip bone is. This thing right here where the leg joins, not our waist. From here, we're going to go from the shoulder down to here and then down to here. How many are there in my torso? Two. Yeah, how many links are there? There are two, aren't there? Let's check it out for you guys. Measure from the shoulder. Start at the shoulder. And then take it down to the side of the body. And, uh, and those who are receiving this, does that, is that where your hip bone is, where you can move your leg? Pretty close, isn't it? How many of these does it take to go all the way to the floor? I have my, my, my measurement is still this long. Starting at the hip, it's one two, and then all the way to the floor is three. So from my hips to the floor are three heads. Let's practice drawing a body that has the right proportions. Are you ready to do that? I'd like you to take this piece of paper that you have on your, this is what I'd like you to do with it. I want you to fold it in half this way. Okay, now we're going to fold it again, like this. And we're going to fold it one more time. This is a little thicker and heavier, so you have to make a special effort and crease it very firmly with your fingers. So how many of these shapes like this do you think we'll have? We had, we had the big piece of paper, we folded it once, made how many shapes? Two. Two. We folded it again, and we made how many shapes? Four. Four, doesn't it? And we fold it in half again, it makes how many shapes? Six. Think again. Eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine, we're just guessing. What's one times two is two, and we folded that in half again, so it's two times two is? Four. four, and we fold it in half again, so two times four is eight. eight. Let's check it out. Right here, open up your piece, and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangular shapes, don't we? We have eight rectangles. All right, now, boys and girls, since we're going to practice sixths, and, and practice the idea that our head is one-sixth of our body, we don't need how many of those? How many should we subtract off of there? Two. Two, all right, good. So with your, with your big pencil that I gave you a few minutes ago, we're gonna put a big old X on the top shape, the top rectangle, and an X on the bottom rectangle. We're not going to use those. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to number from one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. These rectangles that we have on our paper. And watch what I do first, please. I'm gonna put a tiny one right up here at the upper right-hand corner of the top one. So would you do that for me, please? And then the top right-hand corner of the second square down, we're gonna put a two. And then we're gonna put a three in the next one. And then a four. And then a five. And our last one will be? Six, good, you're with me. Now, boys and girls, if our head is one-sixth of our body, we need to put a head in this area right here so that, a noble right here, so that our head goes from the top line to the top of section two. We want to have a nice oval here. We're gonna draw a stick figure of our body using the correct proportions. 